Get a £5 free bet every week with Offer Club from William Hill. Simply stake a total of £20 or more across the week on pre-match football accumulators with four or more selections and you'll get a £5 free bet on the Friday. Join William Hill Offer Club on mobile or online now. Osawa-san from Japan, record is 30 wins and three losses. He's from Osaka, and uh, uh, he's a tremendous fighter, big knockout, big puncher. This should be a terrific, terrific fight. Now, a fight that all of you are extraordinarily excited about, and rightly so, uh, matches uh, an undefeated, Mexican-American fighter from Las Vegas against a legendary Philippine-American fighter who also resides in Las Vegas, who has been a multi-division champion and one of the top, top fighters in the world. Uh, people in Las Vegas, whether they're Anglo, whether they're uh, Mexican-Americans, uh, whether they're Filipinos, are looking forward, and rightly so, to this fight. Jesse Magdaleno is the number one contender for the 122-pound title. Uh, he uh, has a uh, terrific record. He's undefeated. Uh, He's a very exciting fighter. He's also managed by Frank Espinosa. Uh, and so before we bring Jesse up, uh, let me bring to the microphone again Frank to say a few words. Frank Jr. Okay. First off, I'd like to thank uh, Paul Barron, Todd DeBuck, and the Top Rank staff for making this fight happen. On November 5th, Jesse Magdaleno will take on world champion the winner for the WBO Super Bantamweight title. Speaking on behalf of Team Magdaleno, I mean, we have tremendous respect for Monito Donaire. I mean, his record speaks for itself. With that said, I have tremendous confidence in Jesse. I mean, this is a perfect example of when opportunity meets timing. The timing couldn't be any more perfect. Jesse has dreamt of, it, of facing Nomito Donaire for a long time. And is eager to show not just Donaire, but the boxing world, who is Jesse Magdalena. On November 5th, I have no doubt that Jesse would be the new WBO Super title champion. And a force to be reckoned with in that division. So do not miss Magdalena versus Donaire, and what, in my opinion, opinion, could steal the show. Okay, thank you. And now with a record of 23 wins, no defeats, 17 of those wins by knockout, the number one contender for the 122 pound title, please welcome Jesse Magdalena. Wow, <laughs> the time is finally here, you know? Um, I'd like to thank Bob, uh, Top Rank, uh, Frank Espinoza, Manny Robles, Edward Jasso, you know, for making my dream come true and finally uh, going up against uh, a great a great fighter. Um, November 5th is gonna be an action-packed fight. We are more than ready, and we've trained, we trained our butts off for this fight. Um, what can I say? It's 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 my dream come true. You know, this is a big big fight for me. I'm going up against a tremendous fighter, and um, working next to Oscar Valdez. You know, seeing him with his title just makes me hungrier and makes me want to accomplish my dreams just like how he did. And uh, having a team behind me like Frank Espinosa and, and uh, having a, a great 
great trainer, uh, Manny Robles, even though we've barely, barely been working with each other, it's like a perfect fit. We haven't, I haven't connected with a trainer like the way I connected with him in a very, very long time. And it's just going to get me better for this fight, and we are more than ready for November 5th. Thank you. The Filipino Flash, Nanita Darnay, was born in Boal, Philippines, raised in Jensen, a city that I have visited on a number of occasions, because Manny Pacquiao lives there. And uh, he came to the United States as a young man uh, and uh, fought uh, in the American Amateur Program. Uh, and then launched his professional boxing career. He's here with his manager, Captain Duncan. This is a unique opportunity for Filipinos to see on the same card the two Philippine icons, Manny Pacquiao and Donita Donaire, is something that they have been deprived of for many, many years. And now, on November 5, they will get to see these two most famous Philippine fighters fighting on the same card. Nonito is a four division world champion at 112, 118, 122, and 126. In 2012, he was voted the Boxing Writers Association uh, Fighter of the Year. He's a tremendous fighter, and he always gives his all. Please welcome the Philippine Flash, the champion, Nonito Doné. Good afternoon, everybody. It's great to be here. I'm grateful, grateful for this moment. Um, Jesse's camps and everybody, they're very respectful. And I'm grateful for that and taking this fight. I mean, he's been calling me out for a long time and he is well deserved of this challenge um, uh, to, to be able to fight uh, for November 5. But most of all, it's on the card, the Pacquiao fight, which um, which has been a long time coming and, and you guys have to get of uh, watching uh, two Filipino uh, stars uh, in one car. So that's that's something that I'm really uh, excited about. But most of all, I'm very excited for the mindset that I have now. The, the person that's within this ring, or that, that's, with, that's gonna be in that ring, is a man, is a king. And whoever steps in that ring is my ring. This is my house. And that's the passion that I will be giving inside that ring. Is a champion and a, and a victory. An outcome, an outcome of victory, and that's what I see. An outcome, an outcome of victory, and that's what I have in my head. That's what I have in my heart, knowing, full knowing that that the guy in front of me is a hungry lion, but you have a hungry dragon right in front of, in front of me. And I, like I said in a joking way, I devour lions for breakfast. So thank you. Before we want to conclude. I want to say something that I have been wanting to say for a while. A lot of you people have said to me, uh, is boxing dead? And I don't think I've replied as forcefully as I should. Boxing not only isn't dead, but it's on the cusp of a great resurgence. You have all of these great young fighters from the United States, from Mexico, and from all around the world who are coming to the world stage. Boxing is followed by more people than almost any other major sport. And boxing, because of this young talent, will not only succeed, but it will flourish. It will be bigger than it's ever been. Wait till you see. This next 10 years, we are on the cusp of really a uh, time in boxing where the people all around the world will join together to watch our great athletes perform. 
I'm very proud of the people, the young men in this sport, and wait you see what's going to happen starting now in these next 10 years. Anyway, the uh, tickets are still available at the Thomas and Mac when we made this fight because the building is quite large. Manny insisted that 7,000 seats be priced at $50. There's a little over 1,000 of those seats left. And so people should buy them now because I don't want any complaints the week of the fight that there are no more $50 tickets because we started with 7,000 and when they go, they go. Tickets are at 50, 100, there's some more hundreds left, uh, 300, 500, 700, and there's a handful of $1,000 seats remaining. I want to welcome everybody who comes to Las Vegas uh, to watch this event. You're not going to be disappointed. I urge you to come over to the Treasure Island on Friday night and see a great night of boxing. And then on Saturday to see an exceptional night of boxing at the Thomas and Mag. So thank you all for coming. Uh, if you can't make it to Las Vegas, uh, it's available on pay-per-view. We expect a very, very big audience. Uh, the price on the telecast is $59.95, and believe me, this is a card that's well worth the price. Thank you all for coming today. I'm going to take some pictures now. Everybody good? Cool. Okay. Cool. All right, thank you. So, thank you. I'll take that back, please. <laughs> Okay, turn towards the cameras. Turn. Thank you.